All right, we're talking about fascia again. And in the last video, we talked about fascia and its anatomical position and how it creates these nanotubules of collagen, the perfect place for this quantum communication to take place. We talked about the flow of energy and how our fascia is sensitive to light, it's sensitive to sound, it is sensitive to mechanical pressure creating that electrical charge. In this video, we're going to look at the relationship between this fascial network within us and that structured water that's within us, right? So the work of uh, so many different water researchers, but Gerald Pollack and his book, The Fourth Phase of Water, and numerous, numerous research articles, um, peer-reviewed research articles, you can find them on ResearchGate or PubMed, these um, articles dive into the idea of the cell bound water, right? So when we're looking at cells in the body, we see that right outside the cell and inside the cell, there is water that is of a different organization than the water throughout our body. The bulk water, the H2O that we learned about and we're so used to talking about and thinking about in everyday life, this water has a different orientation and a different structure. And it's what uh, Gerald Pollack termed in his book, the fourth phase of water or easy water for exclusion zone water. A lot of people call it structured water or cell bound water because it is that water that lines the outside of the cell. And when we look at it, we see that it is different in nature. It's more viscous and gel-like, allowing it to sort of adhere to the outside of those cells. And, you know, Pollock first found about the fourth phase of water in his lab when he was doing research with Nafion. And Nafion is a hydrophilic surface, meaning that it's water loving. It doesn't repel that water away. And he soon turned to naturally uh, hydrophilic surfaces like collagen. And what we see in the research is that so much of our body is hydrophilic in nature. Again, meaning that it doesn't readily repel that water away. It allows that water to go right up to the surface of the cell and become that cell bound water, that interfacial water that is of a different organization. And Pollock and many others sort of, um, put forth this idea that it's hexagonal in nature, right? Just like uh, the little cubes in a honeycomb, this six-sided hexagonal shape forms as one sheet of structured water forms against our cell. It acts as a template for more sheets to form. And what builds that structured water? Pollock found that it was infrared energy. And infrared energy is the most abundant source of infrared energy. It comes from the sun, right? That's the most abundant source, but there's infrared energy all around us and inside of us, right? Bringing us back to that collagen. When we move, like we talked about in the last video, we create that piezoelectric charge and we create infrared energy. And so, one of the research studies that uh, Gerald Pollack and his lab did out of the University of Washington was they looked at structured water and collagen tubules, right? The tubules we've been talking about that form throughout the body, those tropocollagen nanotubules that create this body-wide communication network he found, he took a collagen tubule, he put it in water, he uh, put an infrared energy source and pointed it at the collagen tubule. And what he found pretty immediately was that structure formed, that structured water formed not only on the outside of that collagen tubule, but on the inside of the tubule as well. And when that collagen uh, tubule forms structured water. Remember, we talked about how that 
first sheet of structured water forms and acts as a template for more sheets of structured water to form to build that structured water zone. What happens is as that structured water starts to form, it kicks out a proton. It kicks out a positively charged hydrogen and creates what researchers are calling a proton-rich zone or a proton wire. And again, Pollock and his lab found that that separation of charge between that negatively charged structured water that's against our cells, against our fascia, and that proton wire that forms immediately outside creates this separation of charge, creates this separation of charge that's very similar to what we see in our batteries, in a nine volt battery, right? That separation of charge Pollock and his lab found was enough to light an LED light bulb. It creates energy. And so this is what he saw with that experiment about collagen uh, tubules. He found that that structured water formed on the outside of the tubule and on the inside of the tubule. And as that structured water formed, it created that proton wire, that proton rich zone, and that separation of charge created energy. It created a flow of water where the water would flow through this uh, tubule of collagen, not only the water, but the very fine solutes and also the protons, right? We see proton jump conduction happening in that fascial network. Remember, our fascia is connecting to each and every structure in the body. We have those fascial inserts in our cells, creating this quantum communication between the uh, flow of protons and electrons and frequency information throughout the body. It's absolutely fascinating. If this is something <clears throat> that interests you, grab my fascia guide down below, my free fascia guide. And for a deeper dive, I have my upcoming fascia masterclass where we're going to dive deep into fascia, what it is, how we contend to it, and how it relates to quantum biology and the flow of electrons and protons and structured water and frequency information, all of that stuff we're going to be diving into. So as always, if you like this content, please subscribe. Give me a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. Thank you so much for watching.